Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. This video I will show you a solution. We can use the PoE solution uh, for the relay controller like this. We can turn on our relay. And this is all relay is on. And now we it's the different uh, between the commonly used the power is by the network cable. What is the PoE solution? The PoE means the power overload the Ethernet. So that means PoE. So uh, maybe you make the project uh, sometimes you have not the power supply, uh, no DC 12 volt for the relay controller. And now you can let the switch uh, have the power supply for output the power to the PoE adapt uh, output the 12 volt for the controller. So the communication network cable and the power just will use only one Ethernet cable. This cable need to be good quality so that will be long distance. And you can choose the PoE switch. Okay, let's look at the details of the switch and the adapt. We can power off. This is my PoE switch. Uh, this is for internet line from the loader. And this is for the output to the relay controller. And we can see if the switch is PoE, uh, the label will also have print the PoE switch. And this is a four part uh, PoE switch. Uh, this is for uplink. And you can also see this, the power. This is the output voltage for PoE. And this voltage output will go through the adapt. And we can see this adapt is network in, and this is DC 12 voltage output, and this is the network for Ethernet. And you can see this adapt is output DC 12 watch to 2 ampere. So this is enough for our relay controller, maybe 2 channel, 4 channel, 8 channel, 16 channel, and 32 channel. All is enough for DC 12 watch and 2 ampere. Uh, this is input power input volt. Uh, this is the range of input volt. Just uh, suitable for this PoE switch output. Uh, these two compatible is OK. So this is a solution for the PoE power supply. If you have project, uh, you need to use PoE, you can use these two parts will solve your problem. Thanks for watching.